My name is Park Grayson. This is Persuasive Speech for uh, Communications 2300. This is my audience. I'm here to talk to you today about horse slaughter. Horse slaughter has been banned in Texas and the United States. This has forced the system of horse slaughtering to go to Mexico. Now that it is in Mexico, the rules and regulations of humane horse slaughter do not apply. Did you ever imagine the last minutes of your life would be spent in a horrible scene? Well, this is how horses feel that are shipped to Mexico and need to be slaughtered. Horses are slaughtered inhumanely and without any cause or recognition or benefit to an ease of passing the horse calmly. With researching this topic thoroughly and through and having high knowledge of the current issue, persuading each of you to take a stand and an action on helping current legislation to pass horse slaughter back into our United States government system. Currently in Texas, horse slaughter is banned, therefore making it go to Mexico. But legislation of horse slaughter with regulations could benefit on our behalf of getting horse slaughter back in the hands of true people who care about the euthanization of horses done humanely and without stress to the horse at the time of death. Many geographic pictures have been reported of inhumane horse slaughter in Mexico, such as taking a hammer and hitting to the temple of a horse's head, causing a slow, painful death, and if not done correctly, can prolong the dying period of the horse up to several minutes. Now you might not think that this is feasible, but I can promise you, at the end of this, I will have told you everything you need to know to make you want to go to our legislature and put your voice in and getting horse slaughter brought back to the people who know how to do it humanely. For example, in Mexico the slaughtering process can take up to 40 minutes so that it can no longer be quick in process and is also incorrect. As a stun gun is used to kill many farm animals during the process of cleaning for meat here in America, as I said, it is not used in Mexico. Cheap labor has forced cheap ways upon these people in using a ball peen hammer this long, striking the horse at the temple and causing a slow, painful death for the animal. If Texas horse slaughter is legal, then the state could regulate the process in making it more humane. Texas could offer a better facility, cleaner working environment, and more strict regulations on the process of this. Another reason horse slaughter should be legal in Texas is the fact that Mexico is rapidly increasing on the amount of horses shipped in it for slaughter. Not only on the basic sense does this put horses in Mexico in their hands and their unhumane treatment, but also it takes some of the trade out of Texas and to Mexico. We need to keep our horses in our state. Since 2007, when horse slaughter was banned and the exploration of horses to Mexico, has gone up 312%. This is according to the Humane Society. Because Texas is losing a lot of money to Mexico, and in turn, it was legal in Texas and the money and the job opportunities we could help with the economy. Think about the fact that we have people sitting on the streets, starving, looking for a job in this market we have right now. If we could bring horse slaughter back to Texas, we could create jobs put money back in people's hands and put food back on their dinner tables. The point of legalizing horse slaughter is to make the cruelty of foreign slaughtering diminish in a Texas economy by supplying jobs and supporting our diminishing economy. Remember the issue of cruelty I spoke on earlier. The solution is to let Texas monitor the slaughtering and creating standards for the process. We can bring in highly educated people who know exactly how it should be done so that the horse can suffer the minimal amount as possible. The option of legalizing horse slaughter in Texas will work because at one time it was legal and we did have this process in humanely euthanizing horses. My solution is desirable because it is clear. The problem is why it's declared legal in 2007. The cruelty will become monitored by regulations. The regulations and guidelines of the slaughtering process will assure that cruelty is stopped.
With this information, I would like to conclude with the steps needed to take action in getting horse slaughter back legalized in Texas. Now think about all the horses I spoke of earlier in the last few minutes of their life being murdered and tortured. The Texas legislator can solve the problem by reopening slaughter in our state. Take action for the regulation of horse slaughter in Texas. Think of legalizing a horse to slaughter should happen. Contact your state senators, your local representatives, anybody that can have a hand in Congress. Speak your word about how you feel about horse slaughter. Just think, would you rather have a Texas horse slaughtered by somebody in a foreign country or have it here with a positive impact that can have our market prosper instead of Mexico's market prospering of our loss of horses? This is my speech I present you today. And as I leave you with, remember, let our horses that we raise and we are proud of be taken care and done safely and humanely in our state of Texas. Thank you.